I knew when my mother was offering me pills and I started to like them a lot. I was headed down the wrong path. I grew up in an environment that was conducive to substance use. My mother was an addict, and so I grew up in that environment. At 21 years old, I had a major surgery, and so I was prescribed pretty potent painkillers, and that was where the real dependence started. I was on the basketball team, track team. Suddenly, I, I started quitting, started isolating. I just had had a son. I wasn't really there for him or any of my other family. My mother got mad because I wouldn't give her some. And so I remember she called the doctor and told him that I was misusing and selling. And so then they cut me off. And so there I was dependent, in pain, cut off. And that's when I realized that this is a this is a chronic disease and I need to look at the, the long-term recovery supports. Addiction is such an isolating disease that the opposite isn't recovery, it's connection. It's connection to you and me. It's connection to other individuals. That's how you beat addiction. That's how you stay in recovery is that connection with others. The good news is, is that it gets better. The connections start to feel good, but it takes time. That's what keeps me going, because I've got everything back in my life that I've lost, my kids, my family, but to see and help others do the same thing, that's, that's what keeps me going. There are better feelings than what drugs can give us. But once you get in recovery and realize that now it's something that you wanna do, and that it is fun, there's no drug that can ever touch that.